away so I thought I would quickly come on otherwise you are not gonna see me this week because it has been a busy week um this is my last full week before I go back to work I go back to work next Wednesday today is Thursday <laughs> um so what have we done so far so on Monday uh, my husband and I are looking to move at some point, so we've been looking at properties. So on Monday we went and viewed a property, um, and then because we were kind of local to my brother-in-law, we went to see him and his girlfriend. We went for a really nice walk around um, Langdon, um, I think it's Langdon Hills. We went to, um, he can get to a nature reserve basically from his home, so... We went for um, a really long walk. It was a 10 kilometre walk. Haven't done an awful lot of walking in a long time. And needless to say, my feet and legs really hurt. Um, so I've got some really nice photos from um, from our walk there. They've got really nice, like, one area has just been sectioned off into, like, mini gardens. Um, so there was a couple of, like, fairy gardens and things where people have, added like little washing lines and fairy doors and things like that which is really sweet so that was really nice and there's loads of butterflies and dragonflies about and that's what we like to see really we like to see the wildlife so that was a really nice day we also got ice creams at the visitor center there haven't been there at all since they had the refurb and it looks massive <laughs> so yeah it's really nice to see that it's it's now got this massive cafe as well, which is brilliant. So there's loads of people visiting because it is the summer holidays. So it's been nice and busy there. So that was Monday. Um, we then went back to my brother-in-law's. We had um, we had dinner there. And then we went off to karate. Um, haven't been to a Monday session since we went into lockdown. <laughs> so it was really nice to just go and train again i've i've tried to do a couple of friday sessions with my husband because he teaches on fridays but it was just really nice to actually train with our sensei so that was good um i had a, a really good laugh um i have gotten so slow though so i'm gonna have to keep up my training there's no training on monday next week though because it's bank holiday so i'm hoping to train tomorrow so this is friday um and then again next Friday. So we shall say um, once we get back into the whole swing of school again, we'll see if I actually make it. Um, it's on the way home, so I don't know why I don't. But I feel like maybe I'm just leaving work too late or maybe I'm just really tired. Or the most common answer is probably that I'm just lazy. What did we do Tuesday? I can't actually remember. I think I spent the day at home. I've started watching Mako Mermaids on Netflix. <laughs> um, the reason I've, I started watching it, I've, I went to find out what it was. Because it keeps popping up on Netflix anyway. But some of the clips keep popping up on my Facebook feed as well. So I just thought I'll go have a look, basically. Um, and then realised that the main character in it, who plays Zack actually plays Jordan in Shadow Hunters. He is um the werewolf. Maya Maya's ex boyfriend werewolf. So um it's just interesting to see him in something else. I haven't seen him in anything else before. And I so that's been fun. Um in the meantime I have been working on my ripple blanket which has grown quite a lot. This is now may of this year so i've got june july and august left to do so actually that's now a year in that blanket um which i'll show in more detail on this month's podcast um but yeah so i did i think i did two two months on tuesday i, I added two months on tuesday and then went for another walk in the evening with my husband as you do after our long walk on Monday so my feet really hurt now um so did my calves so that's fun and then yesterday was Wednesday so 
I thought I'd booked my car in for an MOT, but apparently the booking did not go through on the website because you need to pay when you book it. Even though it told me it was booked. Um, and my account was empty when I booked it, so I couldn't book it online anyway and pay for it. So even though I did go down to the MOT centre, I have now had to rebook it for next Tuesday. So the day before I go back to work. So if there's anything wrong with it, I'm kind of stuffed. Which is why I wanted to do it this week. But I didn't get paid till today. Yeah, so... I went and picked up the latest issue of Simply Crochet because I have um, I have all of the last four, now this is part four, um, for the blanket crochet along, um, which I've got all the yarn for. It's all in a bag ready to go, um, but I'm trying to get the ripple finished um, before I really start on anything else that's going to make me concentrate. Because that's really easy. I don't have to concentrate on it. But I want to get that done. So that I can see how big it is. And decide how many more months I'm going to continue with the um, mini skein club. For the ombre set. And then I want to change it to the random set. And that way I'm not obliged to keep adding more to it. Um, but we shall see. I really like it though. I really like it. <laughs> so I'm glad that I've done it. Anyway, Wednesday. So on Wednesday, despite not having the MOT, I picked up the magazine from Tesco's. Um, and then when I came back, I watched more of Mako Mermaid, which is why I'm now on season two. And then went back to Grey's to go to Morrison so I could get some lunch. Um, just picked up a meal deal, really, because didn't want to make anything. And then picked up my friend from work so my friend emma um and we went back to the yarn shop so um, our local yarn shop now is closer it was um a little bit further away but it's now moved which is brilliant i say that not brilliant for my bank account <laughs> um but it's good that it's closer so that if i do need anything in a pinch i know i know i can go get it um and whilst I was there, I added another month into the blanket. So I added the blue, the last blue section. I've added the greys into purples today. Um, yes, yeah, so and then I took my friend home, picked up Joey on the way back. So he's now here. Um, watched another episode of Mako Mermaid last night. And I started on the blanket that I have been um, planning for him. So... I have loads of Starcraft yarn now. I have loads of the Deramore's yarn. And I finally made a start. Which way up does it go? That way. Um, made a start on... I'm in the light. There we go. Um, a graph gun for him. I've never made one before. I'm hoping I'm doing it right. Um, but I'm just pulling the yarn front or back. Depending on which colour I'm using um and if it needs to go to one end or not so i'm hoping that's okay i'm working currently working with two balls of black and one ball of red so i am traveling the red and black through where i've got the little stripes at the moment the diagonal stripes um but that changes into loads of red soon so i'll do that and then it goes into the buttons so that's good um it's building quicker than i thought i think that only took me about maybe an hour last night to do that i did have to put on um remind myself how to do c2c so i had bella coco's tutorial up on my phone because i kept going into the wrong number chain i kept going into the third chain instead of the fourth chain so mine were looking like rectangles but alas done now um i know what i'm doing now <laughs> um i did also have a little bit of a look on the crochet crowd um michael i can't remember his last name um he does a tutorial on there for how to do a graph gun so i had a quick look on there and he mentioned about drawing lines on the pattern with an arrow so that you know which direction you're going so that's what i've been trying to do to keep track of it 
um, and marketing off as they go so that's really helpful and yeah so today is now thursday it is gone midday so it's almost one it's now one o'clock um so i've added a month into my blanket and watched i've been watching podcasts today so i've watched um Gemma of the midnight diary had her latest one released yesterday um i think it's episode 15 or 16 for tales of the midnight diary so i watched that this morning and oh my god the shawl has grown so much that green is amazing it's like neon lime green um which is um a colorway based on guardians of the galaxy by truly hooked and i just love it <laughs> um, so it was really nice to see her progress on that because she's loving that knitting and i can't blame her for not wanting to put it down if it was that bright i wouldn't want to put it down either <laughs> <laughs> so other than that i've also been watching um knitting traditions or well, knitting tradition or traditions i can't remember it's on my tv at the moment um which is inga who is in norway she is a um a doctor in norway um i started watching it when it first came out when she first started podcasting last um is it Sept september or october um and then just had other ones to catch up on so i didn't go back to it so i've watched i think five episodes in the last few days to try and get me back on track because i think she's on 25 or something now and i'm on 14 or 15 so i've got a few to catch up on but i'm hoping that they're only about an hour long so actually they won't take me long to watch which is quite nice um so what are my plans then for the rest of today i need to oh <laughs> i need to have a shower and just wake myself up a bit more even though it's one o'clock i've got tea i've had some biscuits i had breakfast this morning i need to have some lunch I need to make joey some lunch and oh last night uh, ralph and i actually made dinner ourselves we used one of those um chicken in the bag things that you can get so you put the chick you cut all your chicken out put it in a bag and then you put the seasoning in with it and some vegetables and stuff um so we had that with some rice and that was really nice we had the butter chicken i think there was too much water in it even though we followed the instructions um but we'll try again we'll try again we'll just add this water i think and maybe put a few more vegetables in um to try it it's a little bit differently so that was that and i'm supposed to be going out today not out out but out enough so i'm going to i need to be there for two o'clock so i haven't really got much time <laughs> and there is a we have barley lands local to us in basildon and in barley lands there's lots of sort of artisan shops and there's a farm there's also a sweet shop a pottery place um a cafe a restaurant um a bridal shop there's lots of different things there um but my husband gets all of his artwork framed at a framers there for his shows and exhibitions and things like that and i need to get my big cats framed so i need to go and ask him if i need to add more fabric and what he recommends basically before um he frames it and we are meeting up with one of my husband's friends someone he an art another artist he used to work with um based in burnham on crouch so it's gonna be really nice to meet up with her again and yeah so i'm gonna finish my tea i had my son pick out which mug i was going to use today he picked this one because all my words have been wrong today um i think i said decorating instead of direction this morning and i was trying to mention i was trying to think of the word for sink earlier and ended up with washing basket hence the i can't add up today but yeah other than that i need to edit um the last week of vlogging <laughs> 
but yeah so i'm going to finish this off and get myself ready to go out today and hopefully whilst i've been talking i've put up pictures because that's a lot of time for you to just sit and watch my mug but there we go i'll see you all later <laughs> Bye. What, are you doing the same course? Yeah, but that oh, depends cool. if we get the back together, so it's like we're stopping up too. Oh. It's a bit late, isn't it? Oh, it's in the hole. Oh, right. It's still in the hole. So it is Sunday and I have joined in coffee morning this morning and I started the strawberry lemonade shawl which doesn't look like much at the moment but it will. I have reminded myself how to do a cable cast on and the girls helped me to um, remind me how to do knit two together and got pointers on how to do the yarn overs because apparently I've been doing them wrong. So that's fun um but now it is working out properly so that is great and yesterday oh I'm so tired um yesterday it went for a very long walk which is probably why i'm so tired um it's now five to two and i kind of need to have some lunch um not sure what we're going to do today yesterday i worked up the last of the yarn that I had for from the mini skein club for the ripple and as you can see where my stitch marker is I have 30 stitches to go and I had hoped that this would be the last box of minis to put into this but it looks like it's going to need one more and I will stop then um once I've added in the next box I will stop when I get to the last full row so I am going to need to cut the yarn um or just weave it all in any extra basically so which is a shame <sighs> well there we go oh, excuse me so i have been using my panda my row counter to work on this pattern this is a pattern by Gemma of the midnight diary and it came with the um summer cozy box so the june cozy box the next one is due out from september time i think the orders close in two days time um so yes i now have two days left before i go back to work because i go back to work on wednesday so Got a few things to do though before then i need to the next box the latest box of crochet society subscription came yesterday so i need to sit and record the opening for that but we haven't had the live opening the live unboxing for the last one so my last one hasn't gone up yet either um so what i might do today is sit and finish editing week four of my vlogs and then edit the crochet society box so i can get it on the channel but not necessarily visible on the channel so that at least it's there and i can just hit um publish when the live unboxing goes up so it's not overlapping anything or not spoiling anything for anyone um because they've now started to arrive in like america and australia so hopefully the live unboxing will go up in a couple of days or even today i don't actually know yet um got some washing to hang out because otherwise I've got no clothes for work 
and mm, tomorrow I'm going to be going out to see karate folks um, they're going to go paddle boarding in River Chelmer but I don't really want to go paddle boarding so I'm just going to go over and hang out um, which will be nice because tomorrow is bank holiday here in the UK so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do <sighs> I'm really tired. Um, anyway, so that is the plan. I did make some more progress on the graph gun. So I started the graph gun for Joey. But I don't think it's going to be big enough to be a blanket. I'm over halfway across the bottom. There's only 11 more boxes to do across the bottom. That's the width. That's not... 11 more boxes on the end of that is not going to be enough. Not going to be wide enough for a blanket. So... I don't know. I've got all the yarn for this now. I just want to get it done. I'm going to continue with it. I am... Almost at the corner. And I'm almost halfway up the side. So... I'll do some more rows on it and we'll see how we go. I'll try and get to the try and get to the other edge so I can see how wide it's gonna be. Um but it means having to add in two other balls of yarn to the mix so that I'm playing with five balls of yarn at the same time, which is gonna be fun because once I get to the corner I think I'm juggling four sections of grey. Uh, four sections of black one that's gonna be interesting i do i already have the buttons two buttons and the stripes are actually the um speaker the speaker slots that are in the game boy so that much is done so far i'm now at a point where i have to add in the next set the next black so i can do the other like the i think it's the start button and the select button on the, the classic game boy so that might get some more work done today don't know uh, but yeah so we're gonna see what i get up to today and i'm now gonna go have some lunch this feels so